parts about the photo IDs for this law, um, unless I kind of know it otherwise. A name, a photo, and an expiration date. Now, I didn't say address, uh, which is important. I know that's a big question a lot of people ask. Name, photo, and expiration date. Um, first and foremost, it's a photo ID that was issued by the U.S. government for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Um, for a lot of people, that's going to be a driver's license or a PennDOT photo ID. But for those who don't have that type of uh, photo identification, you can go to a photo license center. And there's two in the area. I mentioned Brimmer's on Harrisburg Pike. And there's also Regency Square Shopping Center. There's one there on Waterstown Road. And you can obtain a free photo ID. Uh, one of the items is, is let's say if you just had a, a PennDOT license and it's expired. Uh, you can check with the department to see if you're still on record, and once they verify that, then they can take your photo and reissue a valid current photo ID. But if not, then what you will need to do is apply for a, a free photo ID, and the types of identification you'll need when you come in to make that application at the license center will include your social security card, and then one of the, one of the following items: uh, a birth certificate that has a race seal, or a birth certification a certification letter, or it may be a certificate of U.S. citizenship or certificate of naturalization. So that's one uh, array of uh, items to select. And then the other is two proofs of residency, and that can be let's say your le a copy of your lease agreement, maybe your utility bills, uh, mortgage documents, or a W-2 form, tax records, something that verifies your residence. Let's talk about how this thing really came about. It's real simple. In 2008, the largest group that voted were women, students 18 to 25, and seniors. Well, the way this law was written, it disenfranchises women, 18 to 25 year olds, and seniors. Honor ourselves, honor our ancestors, and honor our future by listening to these people today, making sure we're right, making sure our relatives and friends are right, and meanwhile, getting out to vote. Thank you, Bill.